what I mainly do with leather craft is functional objects, right? Uh, things that are made from leather that perform a function, right? Like a good example is a belt or something like this, yeah, or a knife sheath. But as well as doing that kind of stuff in the workshop, sometimes I just have a little bit of a play around and I do bracelets and I do hat bands, okay, and things like this. And I try and make them. Um, I, I like using slightly more unusual materials and I try and make them as unique as possible because right? if you're going to buy a custom hat band you don't want to make it look like the standard one you would get with an Akubra hat okay? um, so I'm just going to share a little video and show you this kind of stuff I'm also going to show you um, one tinder pouch I made from Kangaroo Tail just as a kind of example of some of my more unusual work um, you know, it's, this is just a pouch I particularly like and I just wanted to have a visual record of it. Um, the other day I just shot a video which was a little bit unusual. It was a video talking about whiskey, alright. So I was just in the mood and I just talked about some of my knowledge of, of, of whiskey and some of the whiskies I liked. Uh, and this is as close as I've got to urban leather craft as you would say. I made myself a little keyring. So this is the uh, logo for Monkey Shoulder, which is a type of Scottish whiskey, okay? And I took the logo off the bottle, modified it, and made myself a keyring, all right? So it kind of reflects my personality, right? Because uh, I like this whiskey a lot. If you want one like this, just buy me a bottle of Monkey Shoulder whiskey. Wait about 50 bucks, and I'll make you one of these, okay? It's a deal. But I'm going to show you this little Tinder pouch first. I wanted to start just by showing you this pouch that's made from kangaroo tail and this is really nice leather um, and this is one of my all time favourite pieces of leather craft work that I've made. Well, I'm just really proud of this little pouch okay? and it kind of encompasses what I'm trying to do with leather work. Okay, So this is a pocket pouch or a tinder pouch, it's designed to go in a pocket or a haversack and to carry a little fire kit. So you can see we have a wrap around design, we have a little brass ring okay you put it down like that on the ground you have your Altoids tin or whatever and then you have you know you can organize your flint and your char okay and bits of tinder material maybe you've got some bracket fungus or whatever okay it's a very unique design it's not really based on any kind of historical design or anything like that um, it's just quite an unusual uh, use for this material of kangaroo tail actually getting hard to get it's actually getting hard to get kangaroo tails i think it's because when they harvest the kangaroo quite a lot of them uh, the tails are just left out in the bush okay this part here it had a hole in this part of the height uh, and i've just used kangaroo lace to braid it and it's just kind of added to the character of the piece um, absolutely love this little pouch okay but i'll show you some other stuff and again, this the main focus is kind of this little video. It's stuff that's kind of like a little bit more decorative, okay? So this is one of my hat bands. I make quite a lot of hat bands. A lot of them are quite unusual designs. As you can see, this one is made with emu leather. It has kangaroo lace in it. it. has quite a random sort of raw edge feel to it, okay? And here I've added a little stingray barb. All right, just as a little decorative feature. Quite an unusual and different um, hat band. To show you another one, just put it on quickly. There's another one, not really on properly, but you just get the idea. Made from kangaroo fur with little bits of emu for decoration. Quite an unusual hat bands. I mean, quite not, um, everyone's a little bit different, okay? And they have quite a sort of uh, raw edge feel to them. That's the way I would describe it, okay? Just to show you emu, okay? Just to show you the raw material of some of this stuff that I'm doing. This is an emu leg, okay? So obviously you get two of these to an emu. Then you get the main body of the hide, which we don't have here, which is very stretchy, unusual leather. It's also perforated because of the feathers, okay? But this is the leg section. Okay, and if you look at the front there, we have the three toes, okay. It has a really interesting look to it, and it's almost reptilian in nature. Um, the main problem with this leather 
is just the size of it. It's quite challenging to work with and obviously it's a series of quite unusual shapes. So it's a really challenging leather to work with. How this is usually used is folded over like this and this, this part here is mainly used as wallets but I use it in other ways, okay? But the problem with this is it's around about 30 to $35 for this hide which is not a lot of leather. This is a piece of leather the size of my arm, okay? And 30 to 35 to 40 dollars for that is quite expensive. You can buy a whole kangaroo hide for around about 75 bucks, okay? So quite an expensive leather to work with. So consequently, some of these items, when you look at my Etsy store, um, they are a little bit on the expensive side, but the raw material is quite expensive to start with. I'll show you this one. This is a little necklace. This is made from that toe section I just showed you there. One of the small toes, yeah. And this is a wild dog tooth, okay. Quite unusual. Again, purely decorative, doesn't really have any function, yeah. Okay. Little bracelet. Okay, kind of wrap on design. Um, again, just decorative, doesn't really do anything. I really love this. Has a real kind of primitive raw edge to it that I really like. Here's another version, done slightly differently. With the main body of that hide there, just using little modern snaps. It's a really cool piece of kit. So, hope you enjoyed this little look at some of these kind of little leather things that you know I make. I could, I've got more that I can show you. Every one's a little bit different, every one's a little bit unique. Um, they're just you know, it's quite a lot of work to make them, and it's like I explained, some of the materials are quite expensive. But if you like this kind of stuff, check out my Etsy store and use the link above and all that stuff. If you're in Australia um, and you've got some of this kind of stuff, you've got emu hides and wild dog teeth and interesting materials that you think I might be interested, give me a shout. Uh, maybe we could do a trade or do some barter or something like that. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching guys. Stay safe out there, okay?